Welcome to a FS19 mod review on the Ravenport map. Today we will be taking a look at a variety of mods including a Polaris, Flatbed, Truck Log, Truck Log Machine, a few tractors, trailer, and a few playable objects. All of the mods are public and the links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first, we will be taking a look here at the player's two-seater 1000, and this door is located under the cars category and has a starting price of $3,000. It is color changeable, has 93 horsepower, top speed of 74 miles per hour. Four different options, we do have a few different ones including uh, taking the top off and also removing the entire roll cage. Up next here we do have a few different engine types, high torque, uh, mid, uh, low torque, really do like those options and for wheels we have these very nice ones here. We also do have a little bit beefier, bigger ones with black wheels and then we got different uh, tires on these as well and I really do like all of those different wheel options. When taking a closer look here at you guys, you can see it's a very nicely done one. I believe this was back in 17 as well. Now this does have a working plow for it if you would choose uh, to use it and you do have the plow connections there which is very nice. I do like the suspension on this, a ton, a ton of detail was put into this. You guys can see, just take a look up there, wow. And around back you guys can see players does have a hitch and just take a look at the nice suspension. Once we hop here on the inside top speed at 93 miles per hour, all of the lights do work here on it, which are nice, and it does have that extra LED light bar up top, which is pretty fancy, and uh, you guys can see on the interior, we do have working gauges, working steering wheel, and this thing is pretty awesome, a ton of detail was put into this, you guys can see, even take a look at the seat belts, that is pretty awesome. I'm excited to be back here in FS19 doing a review. It looks like mods have slowed down quite a bit recently and hopefully a lot more come out. I will be trying to do as many reviews but I try to have at least uh, kind of 5 or 6 in uh, these review videos to feature. This is a very nicely done player so really cannot wait to take it out on the trails. Has one single exhaust and looks amazing. I definitely really do like the black wheel options as well. Up next we will be taking a look here at a Ford F-350 flatbed dually. And this door is located under the cars category. You guys can see it's a 2010 F-350 starting price is just under $22,000. 400 horsepower here and you could get the single wheels or you could get the dually which is a very nice feature you got the toolbox gooseneck hitch as well and this thing looks awesome we do have this truck with the regular cab but it's nice to see a flatbed version of it and a flatbed is in line with the truck as well it does not kind of come out a little bit more which is great and the wheels do uh, kind of come out past the fenders which is pretty awesome and you do got mud flaps here in the back pretty big exhaust as well once we hop here on the inside, we'll take a look here at all of the lights. It looks like these are the older lights from FS17, but that's okay. And we'll take a look up front. On the interior, we do have working gauges, working steering wheel, and uh, working mirrors. Very detailed as well. I really do like uh, the look of these trucks as well. Very soon we will be changing our mod reviews to another map. I really do want to kind of switch maps here off the Ravenport map. And it gives us new areas to test out. And we will also be having some areas to kind of test the suspension and things like that. Including possibly doing a little bit of towing with all of these as well. Up next we will be taking a look here at a pretty big log truck. And this door is located here under the forestry machines category. It has a starting price of $143,000. Both of these trucks are very similar. This one here is color changeable. The only other option here for is the different engines. We've got a Mercedes, Cat, Cummins, and a Detroit. Has 400 horsepower as well. 
This thing does look very nice. I really do like this uh, very nice grill protector up front. Pretty nice as you come around to the side. Take a look at those added steps. Now, those are pretty low to the ground, especially for kind of going off a road, but that is okay. Very nicely done. We got toolboxes here, and one interesting thing is we have a full cab here. That is pretty cool. Usually, we just kind of sit up top, but it's nice that we have a cab, and I cannot wait to really test out the trucks. So once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 71 miles per hour. All the lights do work on it. This is actually the in-game truck originally as like a semi-truck. Take a look at all those work lights. Those are pretty awesome. On the interior, you guys can see quite a bit of things here. This is very nice as well. And it's very similar to in-game one. Alright, you guys can actually see that we do have a camera view back here. So why don't we put the stabilizers out. And you guys can see the cab lifts up. As well that is pretty awesome I'm very excited for it as well and I I really do like the cab as well uh, you you're a nice AC even you could do this in winter with heat and uh, you are really enjoying uh, it with the cab here but you guys can see it all does work here which is great I really do like this quite a lot overall one very nice truck and I do plan to do more logging on the channel and I will be featuring this up next, we will be taking a look here at a logging machine. In the store, it's located under the forestry machines. It's the Massey Ferguson 320, $70,000. Now, you guys can see it does have different wheel options. Really, really do like those chains. Those are pretty awesome. And you can get duels if you would like. And for designs, you could get uh, metal uh, kind of caging grid protection to prevent you in the cab from getting hurt and when taking a closer look at it just take a look at those chains very detailed this thing looks amazing it is a bit on the low textured side but i really do like that as well and it is nicely done and this thing looks awesome cannot wait to use this in logging when i like i touched upon we do the logging and we got a front push bar here which is nice doesn't go down all the way but that's okay here in the back you guys can see nice and uh, that is pretty awesome there on the interior we have working gauges I really do like that cage protection as well and that's a nice add-on I really do like that there's no cab here on it. it's kind of the older style which is great and it does come here with this custom built trailer as well that can be found under the low loaders uh, six thousand dollars it's color change where you could get a hitch or uh, the semi truck which is pretty awesome up next we will be taking a look here at an older tractor in the store it's located here under the medium tractor category I really do like this uh, kind of pivot style tractor it has a few different cab things you could do color wise fenders it has a few different wheels you could get duels which is great and you could get air filter and just a few other things like that a standard equipment you could get beacons and some extra things like a license plate so really do like it and then the three point or the hitch has a very nice star up here you guys can see I do have all the options here on it I really do like the look here of this tractor just take a look at this we have working gauges and it seems to be a manual which is pretty awesome and does it shift yeah that actually does move which is very interesting as well but I really do like the compact size of this thing definitely want to include this into some farming videos up next we will be taking a look here at an old John Deere tractor in the store it's located under the big tractor category and it has a starting price of $396,000 so many different wheel options Duels, you could get a big engine and it actually changes a little bit of the engine design it's a little bit wider which is nice 400 horsepower this is a very nice big old tractor as well and I really do like it quite a lot you guys can see uh, very big takes quite a lot to turn this thing but that is okay. Up next, let's go over to the open field and take a look at a few placeable objects. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. Uh, I really do enjoy doing these, and I hope my videos help make you have a great day. 
four placeables, we'll be taking a look here at a log cabin and also a shed pack, which is pretty awesome. So in the store, we'll go over here to miscellaneous, and the log cabin is $200 uh, in, in sheds. There's so many different versions, lengths, but we have the blue. We also have the green. And we do have a few other styles as well. So we have some other ones. And finally, we have a single one as well. And a green one. Up first, we'll take a look here at the log cabin. I really do like the look of this. You guys can see uh, very nicely done. It uh, looks pretty awesome. And does the door work? Nope. But you guys can see it is a place full there. If you guys would like, I really do like the detail put into the wood. Over here is one of the sheds. You guys can see it does have a nice gravel area. I really do like this one quite a lot. You guys can see it's a little bit more kind of circle. This one is a little bit, you can see the difference there in the side types. A little bit taller as well. And then this one, you guys can see quite a bit of area. really do like this lot. And then over here, this is much, much taller, which is great and wider. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review here on the Ravenport map. Stay tuned for an next one. Have a great day and subscribe for more.